uh, Rajan D. K. S. The Family Man, with uh, Manoj Bajpayee as the central character, is a huge disappointment. For starters, it deals with a very cliched story of terrorists. You know where they are. You know which community is presented as the terrorist group. You know how they are dressed. You know how they are fashioned. You just have to pull out the templates, put them together, and say, "This is my story." You go to Baluchistan. You go to neighboring areas. You go to Rabalpindi. You give it a political touch. You know what kind of a political touch you'll give it, except for some minor variations at a later part in the story. Thank you for playing diplomat, also Raj and D K. And then you have such a unilateral or a unilear or a linear performance from the central character of Manoj Bajpayee as the family man that you are fighting for bread. You find that the story is moving in a direction that everybody will tell you this is how it will move. Okay. There is a family, Shrikar Tiwari, that's Manoj Bajpayee, is married to Suchitra Priyamani, a South Indian, and therefore she is talking about Idli. She is talking in Tamil, some some authenticity, I suspect. Uh, they show that she may be in a relationship with one Arvind, who is Sharat Kakar. Shrikar is lying in the family, saying that he is on a desk job with the police. Actually, he is on a a very important team which is assigned to catch and get across with uh, Mission Zulfikar. Does Mission Zulfikar succeed? It doesn't succeed. This is what the 10 episode serial is. I suspect the entire serial is more an investment to the next uh, uh, family man too if it comes rather than to a complete story in itself in Family Man. There are one too many loose ends. In fact, the serial ends so very abruptly and uh, so unheroically that you wonder where the entire story was heading. You have uh, the Tiwari family has two kids in Dhriti and other very stereotype, the girl getting into adolescence, boyfriend, drugs, a little boy trying to blackmail mama and papa and the sister for ice cream and pizzas. Uh, you have a friend, colleague in uh, Talpade, played by Sharib Hashmi, again that clutch on which a hero depends on very often in most uh, films. There is uh, Musa and Sajid, the two important terrorists in India, played by Neeraj Matthew, very good performance, and Shahab Ali as Sajid, very stereotype. You have Pavan Sharma as the immediate boss, Dalip Tahil as the big boss, and uh, you have all of them playing those typical roles where you know this is exactly what they are going to do. It is like uh, Bapu Natkan is bowling on the spot predictable, you know what is going to happen and you are just asking yourself, is something going to happen next? Really not much. Operation Zulfikar is happening even as uh, the protagonist Manoj Bajpai or Srikar Tiwari has a marriage that seems to be cracking in the background, seems to be running into an old flame of his. Uh, the blackmail of a gay man who is a chemical engineer is shown with surprising graphics and uh, one wonders if Indian cinema is coming of age. The physical uh, relationship between Musa and the nurse in the hospital, very contrived. Killings in the hospital and in the factory, very, very, very thrill filled. Uh, the early, early bomb disposal is extremely well shot and taught, but after that the grip is gone. As I said, 
the entire 10 episodes seem to be telling the audience, I'm leaving loose ends for you. Come back and watch the second level of the series. I, I don't think I will spend that much of time. Uh, we know which the enemy land is. We know what the terrorists are doing. And Manoj Bajpai, an extremely talented actor, carries one expression throughout the series. His eyes are huge. He's frowning. He's looking at everybody. The one takeaway from it all, <clears throat> uh, if I was Sunit Kutayan, the editor, I would have cut the episodial uh, series to half and told the directors, Raj and DK, will you shoot something more meaningful? Cinematography by Azib Mulan and Nigam Bomzan. Interesting. After all, they have some great Afghan shots. The one good takeaway that I found in the entire 10 episodes is a statement. Privacy is a myth, just like democracy. Uh, if you like those spy thrillers, espionage films, and if you are on that side of the curve where you think uh, those are the guys, those guys are the bad guys, etc., watch the film. Otherwise, I think you need to invest needless amount of time in watching The Family Man. See you. Bye-bye. <clears throat>